Okay, it's Mark Weens here. Lately, I've been getting a lot of comments and questions about who I am, uh, how I started traveling, and how I started eating. So I just wanted to share a little bit about that in this upcoming video. Okay, so I was born in 1986 in Phoenix, Arizona. My mom, she's actually Chinese, but American, born in Hawaii. Um, so I'm actually half Chinese, and that's sort of the reason why I think I love Asian food so much. My grandfather was actually a Chinese chef, so I, we definitely have some roots with food. Okay, so my parents are Christian missionaries, so when I was five years old, we moved to France, and believe it or not, that's where I attended my first year of school. Unfortunately, I don't speak any more French really anymore, but I wish I did. Then after France, we moved to Democratic Republic of Congo, and back then it was known as Zaire. I think we lived there for about three and a half years or so, and I was homeschooled, uh, but it was in Congo that I did a lot of awesome things like run around in the jungle with no shirt on and eat all kinds of jungle creatures. I used to go with a slingshot and shoot little birds and eat them, and I'd also eat all sorts of other jungle creatures like flying termites, grubs, delicious things like that. But then when war broke out, we relocated to Nairobi, Kenya, and that's where I attended school for about eight years until graduating from high school. I went back to the United States and I attended Arizona State University for four years until graduating with a degree in global studies. But throughout university, I worked full-time and also I started a small little business selling things on eBay. And of course, throughout my university years, I continued to eat as much as I could. But after I graduated from university, since I had been working, I had a little bit of savings. And so I decided to head down to South America. Uh, I was in South America for about six months uh, until deciding to go to Asia. And I flew into Bangkok and then traveled around Southeast Asia for about six months. But then I was starting to get low on money, so I decided to go back to Bangkok and I. I actually signed a, a contract to teach English for one year. And so I, I, did, I did teach for a full year, uh, but I'd have to say that English teaching is not really for me. It was definitely a good experience, but definitely not something I'd like to do long term. So the good thing is that during that year, I was able to take blogging really seriously. I did a lot of hard work and I knew that I wanted to create something so that I didn't have to teach English again. So I started doing freelance work, continuing to blog, and do all sorts of online projects. It's also in Thailand where I met my girlfriend, who is Thai, and she's actually now my wife, and she's the one who takes all of my videos, so I'm extremely thankful for her. She does an awesome, awesome job. And then that basically brings us to where we are right now. I'm based in Thailand, but still travel around quite frequently. I mostly travel to pursue my stomach, trying to eat all sorts of awesome food. Food has been a passion of mine all my life, pretty much, I think since I, the day I was born. So I just love to eat. Okay, finally, I just wanna say a big thank you to you for watching my videos. I couldn't make them if you didn't watch them, so thank you very much. And lastly, if you have any other questions for me, just go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll definitely get back to you. Also, it would be awesome if you would leave a comment telling me your name, um, where you're from, what you like to eat, where you wanna travel to. I wanna hear from you also and get to know you better. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching my videos and lots, lots and lots and lots more food coming soon.